Well, good morning from uh, Ontario, Oregon. We're getting ready to head out. Just had to get fuel. Yeah, it's cold. Chilly. Um, oh. I didn't actually need fuel, but I would I would need fuel before I left Idaho, and fuel is less expensive here in Oregon than it is in Idaho for a couple of reasons. Uh, so, well, I wonder what Johnny Law is doing rolling through the parking lot. I guess they do those patrols through here. That makes sense. I think they have some problems in truck stop. Oh, I know they do from time to time. It's one of the worst places where human trafficking. Anyway, I don't want to go all up onto that. Um, I mean, that's what I hear. I've not actually witnessed it myself, but I've seen enough news reports about it. Um, anyway, what was I saying? So, uh, yeah, so fuel is less expensive here. Um, I have a better discount in the three western, four western states. Well, I was right in the middle of saying something and the battery died. So, I had to change the battery. Since I've already got one back here charging, I might as well, I forgot to charge it. I've got three batteries for that camera. So, I'm just going to slip this into the charger at the same time. There are two slots. And I will charge them both. By the time I, the next time I stop, it'll be done. What was I saying? Uh, fueling. So yeah, pre-trip's done. Did fueling. Um, you know, I still have well less than 800 miles to go. I could easily make all, make it all the way to Kingman and get fuel there. I have an extra discount in Arizona as well. But there's another reason why here. I'll explain it some other time, but Oregon fuel taxes work differently. They don't charge the fuel taxes at the pump. I guess I'm explaining it now. They don't charge the fuel taxes at the pump if you have a special certificate. I have one. Most trucks do. You have actually you have to have it. You get a ticket if you don't have it. Anyway, but they don't charge the fuel at the pump. Um they charge you later. <laughs> Still gonna get you, but it's based on your how much you pay in the fuel taxes. Like in most places, is based on how many miles you roll through a particular state. And so, if I don't buy fuel in Oregon, I'm still gonna pay that mileage tax. So, I might as well get the cheaper fuel while I'm here, even if I don't need a whole tank. I mean, I only got 87 gallons, so. Um, now I won't have to get fuel until I pick up my next load after my time at home. Speaking of which, my time at home. Um, so I'm going to get home tomorrow night and then, what is it? Mm -hmm. You got everything over there. You already got treats. So, um, yeah, I'll deliver in Kingman, then I'll drive home. It's like 100, and, 100 miles, a little over 100 miles. Um, 110, 115 miles. I'll get home tomorrow night, take care of my driver's license renewal. Thursday for Thanksgiving, I'm going to drive down, down to Kingman in my car. Um, no, I, that was the plan, to drive down to Kingman in my car for Thanksgiving with family, my daughter from Portland, who I just had dinner with, she's going to be there, and the grandkids are gonna be there. So we're gonna hang out at her cousin's um, on her mother's side. Um, so anyway, should be interesting. And then 
I was going to drive back home Thursday evening, and then presumably I will have booked a load out of the Vegas area for Friday or Saturday. I was going to play it, you know, loose and see how it worked out. Well, here's how it worked out. I'm not doing that. I mean, I'm going to Kingman for Thanksgiving, but I'm not driving my car. I'm driving the truck because I booked a load out of Kingman on Friday. So Thursday, I will drive down to Kingman in the truck, park at a truck stop, go do the family thing, have my daughter take me back to the truck after, you know, an evening, and and then Friday morning, drive a couple miles to the place I'm picking up to get my load, and then I'm headed back up to Washington. Um, not too far from the places I just delivered in Tacoma. Lacey, Washington. It's actually south west of Tacoma. It's between Tacoma and um, Olympia. So, hey, Katie. What's that? What are you looking at? Huh? What are you looking at? What are you so afraid of? I don't know what he's afraid of. Anyway, time to get going. This is Ontario, Oregon. Isn't that right, Kitty? Well, this is part of it anyway. I've only driven into and through Ontario once. You know, through town. Oh, we got a little backup here.
exit. Well, this is the exit to Twin Falls and our exit to head south on US 93. First, we're going to make a stop over at the Flying J here. Take a little break, get some fresh coffee. Short break. Got fresh coffee. Spilled a bunch of it on the floor. Now we're on our way out. Whoa! I've never seen that curb there before. I actually like this Flying J. I wish they had a restaurant here. They don't even have a fast food place here. But it's still a good place to hang out. 
mean, you know, overnight. From this point, east or west, on Interstate 84, you can, you know, hit all the various points in either direction. If you're headed east to, like, Pocatello or Salt Lake City or anywhere east of that, this is the place to stay. Um, west, of course, back where we just came from. All the points in the Pacific Northwest. Or south from here, which is what we're doing.
done for the day um, I decided to stop it's cold outside <laughs> I decided to stop in Ely instead of going on to the next place which would be in Lund uh, and all right let's try to get this done before the battery dies I start, decided to stop in Ely instead of going on to Lund because at Lane's travel stop, you know, it's not a very big place. They're not, I don't think they're open all night. I mean, it's just a little convenience store, restaurant, and a big yard to park in. So, well, we're done for the day, except Kitty. He's making a fuss for some reason or another. Anyway, I decided to stop in Ely instead of going on to Lund. Maybe that's what his problem is. He wanted to go on to Lund. Um, the, the the truck stop there, it's a real small thing. Uh, they got plenty of parking, but, you know, they, it's a convenience store, a restaurant, and that's about it. So, um, and I, I think I would have got there after they close, so there'd be no services. Um, it would be in the morning, but, you know, there's a Love's Travel Center here. It's, in fact, it's a new one. And they had parking. You know, they've only got like 50 to 70 parking spots total at this place. And there were at least 10 when I got here. So I'm like, you know what? I'm parking there. Clean restrooms, coffee in the morning. And uh, they got a Carl's Jr. here. I don't know what they have for breakfast. Um, or I can walk across the street to a McDonald's. Or I can just have cold cereal here I have in the truck. So I've got options. That's you know that's basically why I stopped here. It's only 30 miles farther to go to Lay, uh, Lund, so you know it doesn't make much of a difference. From here, it's 355 miles to my destination tomorrow. So easy peasy um, to get there. Make it's a drop and hook, so it takes 30 minutes, 45 tops, and then it's 100 and some change home and then I'm done. So that's the plan. Um, another another note is it's really cold. Uh, when I stopped in um, Wells, it was like 24. And 
the sun was just going down when I got there. I guess it was probably down already. But anyway, 24. Here it's like 22. And it's going to get colder, I'm sure, before it's all said and done. So, um, that's about it, I think. Kitty's quieted down a little bit. Um, I got to look. He probably needs food. So I'm going to take care of that. And pick this up again in the morning for our uh, the final leg of this drive. Um, I, I guess I didn't mention we did about 442 miles today. So that's decent. I mean, it's not pushing hard. 500 is about what I normally do. So this has been an easy trip. Uh, last one was an easy trip. So um, that's it. If you like these videos, uh, please subscribe. Uh, give me a like. Um, and then share them with your friends, family, on Facebook, Twitter, and wherever else you share videos or stuff. And uh, help spread the word. You never know who might be interested in, in uh, seeing what it's like have an over-the-road trucking adventure.